Hello, good afternoon. Good How are you doing? Good afternoon, Mr. How are you doing? No, fine. Okay, I'll ask you one question. It seems difficult, but it's really very, very easy, okay? I want you to mention 100 words just in one minute, one minute, without the letter A. 100 words? 100 words, and just in one minute, without the letter A. Does anyone know? I'll let you think about it till the end of the session, okay? Okay. Okay? Okay. Today's lesson is mainly about inventions. So, uh, how do you find those inventions? Like, uh, you can mention advantages, disadvantages. Uh, can we, uh, like, replace one by another one? So, uh, what about pocket calculator? What? Is it important nowadays? A pocket calculator? Yeah. No, we don't need it. Why? We have smartphones. Okay, perfect. Yes. What about video games? It's still important. Still important? It's not important. You have a smartphone also. Yes. So you can play video games through your smartphone. Yes, perfect. Okay. What about cell phones? And what is the difference mainly between cell phones and smartphones? Who knows? Uh, a smartphone, uh, like you can go to it in the web, you can play video games. Perfect. So yes. it's connected to an external network. Yes. Perfect. What about the cell phone? It's internal. Yes, perfect. Yeah. Okay. Camcorder is. A can recorder. Yes. Okay, so is it important nowadays? No. no. Why? It can be replaced also by our smartphones. Yes. Right? What about touch screen tablet, which was like an invention in 2010? Okay. Is it important nowadays? Yes. Yes, I think so. Yeah. But we can replace it by our smartphones. Personal GPS. What does it mean? It's uh, a whole device dedicated for GPS. So, uh, to find your destination, for yes. example? Yes. Okay, so it's very important. While you're driving, for example, and you will enter your destination and... Yes, it tells you where to go, the direction. Perfect. So, uh, the world wide web. What does this mean? Internet. Internet. In 1989, it was firstly used or invented. The first web that can be accessed through a computer, which was like a huge computer, not like nowadays computers, laptops, uh, portable uh, laptops, and you can go anywhere with your laptop and uh, access to the internet, actually without why? Because here, the difference between the laptops nowadays or the computers even nowadays, that you can connect through what? Wake up! Internet. Internet, Wi-Fi. Yes. Yeah, okay, without wire. Wireless connection. Yes. Okay, perfect. So, um, I hand up some pictures. They're related to those devices, okay? And you will find your picture through this one and write down an advantage and one disadvantage for this device, okay? okay? So, uh, pick one, please. Okay. What advantage of the advantage? Yes, please. I'll tell you how to write down your um, opinion, okay? You use like those examples, okay? You were right. Look here. For example, I use a computer to send emails or for watching movies. So here we're mainly talking about computers. Okay, perfect. But I'm mainly talking about the sun this close, the sun emails or for watching movies. Yes. So I'm talking here about reason or purpose close. Okay? The purpose of using computers, for example. So uh, as you do have the pictures, so you will write down only the usage, and you will find one advantage and one disadvantage. Just like uh, one minute to finish up, okay? You can choose from here. You can pick from here. GPS. You can change it if you want. 
They don't have money. Yes. The usage can include, by the way, an advantage, for example, or even a disadvantage. It's not a problem. As I said, you should use two or four. Okay? okay. Two or four. Like, for example, our previous one, I use computer, I use a computer to send emails, or for watching movies, okay? Have you finished? Yes. Okay, perfect. Mr. Tarek? Yes. What picture do you have? I have a smartphone. Smartphone. Would you please tell us what have you written? <clears throat> yeah, my smartphone makes my life easier. I use it to play games, or to shop online, or to video chatting, and I can also read the news. Again, from the word or the usage, I use it to? Yes. To do what? Uh, read the news. To read. So here, to is followed by infinitive form of a verb, right? We call it infinitive. Yes. As usual, to mostly is followed by infinitive form. Okay? Okay. What okay. picture do you have? Uh, Safe phones. Okay. What have you written? Uh, I use it for connecting to other people. For connecting. Okay. So here, you've used for. And for, most probably used. Followed by ing, ing, which is called jaren for. Okay, jaren for. And what is the difference? What do you think the difference between a jaren and an infinitive for? The ing. That's all. Uh, the, the, the continuous action, something that keeps happening. I think uh, uh, after for we uh, change it the verb to noun. Mostly, mostly. Yes, perfect. Here comes the difference. Noun, a noun, a gerund, mainly, mainly, gives me the meaning of a noun or the usage of a noun, okay? It's a verb, yes, but it gives me the usage of a noun, okay? Okay, let's, let's continue. What have you written? What picture first do you have? Computers, okay. Uh, I can use a computer to send emails and... Uh... Uh, surf the internet to finish my work or get my work. To finish, perfect. I'm talking here mainly a lot. <laughs> to followed by infinitive. So you have followed to by infinitive form of the verb finish. So can I say, for example, to finishing? No. Yes, but not commonly used. Not, mm -hmm. not always, okay? We do have special cases. Okay, what about you? Uh, what uh, picture? Uh, video camera. Video camera, okay. What have you written? We use it uh, to uh, record important events. Okay, perfect. Can you change to record to a giant form, as we this one is infinitive? For recording. For recording, perfect. So you have followed for by giant form. Okay, mainly, mainly, the difference between to followed by infinitive, which is verb, and the giant form, the giant can be found at the beginning of a sentence, for example, like a subject, as for example, when I say uh, swimming is my favorite sport, swimming here is the subject and also a noun, which is mainly gerund, okay? But when I say um, 
I love to swim. I love to swim. Two here followed by swim, which is infinitive form, not gerund form, because it's preceded by two. So uh, it was like a brief about gerund and infinitive, but we do have some more usages and different, very different usages. But you can find some verbs, some certain verbs, which can be followed by only infinitive form. Are you following? Yes. Okay, infinitive form. And other verbs, you should follow down by gerund form. Like for example, I want, I want is followed, the verb want here, followed by infinitive form or gerund form. Like when I say, I want to sleep. I want to eat. Infinitive. So it's always followed by infinitive form, not I want to sleep in. It doesn't make sense. Okay, on the other hand, and it's like a special case. When we're writing an email, you will write down, when you're closing your email, you write, I'm looking forward, or I look forward to, to seeing you or to see you, to seeing you. And here comes a special case. Okay, so uh, as I said, we do have some verbs that are followed by infinitive form and other verbs are followed by gerund form, which means nouns, okay? Yes. But we do have some verbs, common verbs, that can be followed by both infinitive and gerund. But does the meaning change? Let's see here. Take a look here. Like the verb forgot. The first sentence, I forgot to buy the pen. Infinitive. It's infinitive form, to buy. The second one, I forgot buying the pen. Jared. Yes. Right? Do they give me the same meaning? Yes. Or the meaning change? Yes, same meaning. Yes, what about you? What's your opinion? Yes, yes? what about you? What about you? Yes. Okay. Mr. Ahmed says no. Yes, of course not. Because the first one, I forgot to buy the pen. Have I bought the pen? I forgot to buy it. No. I forgot to buy it. So I didn't buy the pen. Okay. Oh. I went to the supermarket and I didn't buy the pen. Okay. On the other hand, I forgot buying the pen. You may have bought the pen, but you don't remember buying it. I went to the supermarket. But I, mean, I bought. I bought the pen. And I forgot that I bought the pen because I put it, for example, on my desk. So I forgot that I have bought a pen. Okay? The second verb here, try. The first sentence, I tried to open the window. And the second one, I tried opening the window. Okay, do we have any differences? I tried to open the window, I tried opening the window. Okay. We have a difference here. Yes, we do. As it's a common verb that you can use infinitive form and gerund form, but the meaning changes. Okay, the first one, I tried to open the window. For example, I tried to open the window, but I couldn't. Okay? I didn't open it. Okay? But I tried. I spent some effort. Okay? But here, like for example, I'm feeling hot. So try to open the window. I tried opening the window. I opened the window already. Okay? But it's still hot. Okay? So is it clear? Oh. Is it clear? Yes. The last one here, which is an interesting verb. Stop. The first one, I stopped to smoke. And the second one, I stopped smoking. Do we have difference here? I'm talking about the meaning. Yes, maybe. Yes. Yeah. I stopped smoking means I stopped smoking for good. I quit. Yes. For it good. means I quit smoking. Okay. Or I gave up smoking. Okay. But here. Maybe I stopped today. I no. I, I finished. Uh, finished. I finished it now. No. As we said, I stopped smoking. I quit. I gave up smoking. Right? Mm -hmm. This one. Jared. Okay. And that leads us that smoking here is a noun, right? Jared four. But on the other hand, I stopped to smoke. 
while I'm driving, traveling to Alexandria, for example, I stopped and get outside oh. my car to smoke and then continue traveling. Okay? So we do have magic here. Magic in what? Word position. Word, the same word or verb. It will change the meaning 100%. Okay? Okay. Now we're gonna listen to a certain track, which is mainly Okay, you have the first paper, just like uh, um, I give up. Just mainly like an assessment, listening. Okay. This one. Yes, you will listen to the track, but first you should read the instructions. Those instructions should be followed to answer the uh, assessment correctly. Okay. Okay, we can stop. Okay. I give up. I can figure this out. What's wrong? I'm trying to create a song playlist for my party on Saturday. I can help. It's really easy. First, choose new playlist from the menu. Here? Oh, I see. Now type in the name of your playlist, then go to your song file and choose the ones you want. But how do I choose the songs? Just drag them to the playlist, be sure to cut these keys to highlight more than one song. That was easy, thanks. So are you coming on Saturday? Of course, but don't forget to include my favorite songs on your playlist, okay? Okay, have you finished? Yes. I play the audio again. So to make sure that you answer it correctly. Which folder? Which folder are they in? Micro. Micro. Okay, no, sorry, sorry for the delay. No I can't figure this out. What's wrong? I'm trying to create a song playlist for my party on Saturday. I can help. It's really easy. First, choose new playlist from the menu. Here, oh, I see. Now type in the name of your playlist, then go to your song file and choose the ones you want. But how do I choose the songs? Just drag them to the playlist. Be sure to grab these keys to highlight more than one song. That was easy, thanks. So, are you coming on Saturday? Of course, but don't forget to include my favorite songs on your playlist, okay? The third and final... I give up. I can't figure this out. What's wrong? I'm trying to create a song playlist for my party on Saturday. I can help. It's really easy. First, choose new playlist from the menu. Here? Oh, I see. Now type in the name of your playlist, then go to your song file and choose the ones you want. But how do I choose the songs? Just drag them to the playlist. Be sure to cut these keys to highlight more than one song. That was easy. Thank you so much. So, are you coming on Saturday? Of course, but don't forget to include my favorite songs on your playlist, okay? Okay. Have you finished? Yes. It was like so easy, right? Mm -hmm. Well now... I want two of you to role play this conversation, okay? Okay, Rahat, I need someone else. One volunteer. Can Mr. Ahmed come with me? Okay. No? Yes, sure. But we do have the... Um... Okay, Mr. Ahmed. Yeah, okay, I I'm Terry. He's rich. Okay. I give up. I can't figure this out. What's wrong? I'm trying to create a song playlist for my party on Saturday. 
I can help. It's really easy. First, choose new playlist from the menu. Here. Oh, I see. Now, type in the name of your playlist. Then, go to your song file, choose the ones you want. But, how do I choose the songs? Just drag them to the playlist. Be sure to press these keys to highlight more than one song. That was easy. Thanks. So are you coming on Saturday? Of course, but don't forget to include my favorite songs on your playlist, okay? Okay. Okay, perfect. The final part here, when it comes to the word matter, we should talk just in a minute about word position. The same word we use, the same word in different position in the same sounds. So, for example, the first one, only I saw Ali in the park. The second one, I only saw Ali in the park. The third one, I saw Ali only in the park. The fourth one, I saw Ali in the park only. You have differences in the meaning. Yes. yes. Just when we change the position of the word only, directly, the meaning changes. Mr. Tarf. Yes. But this means only I saw Ali in the park. It was only me who saw Ali, no one else. So only he refers to me. Yes. Only I. No one else. Yes. Okay, perfect. Mr. Ahmed, I only saw Ali in the park. What does it mean? I have seen no one but Ali in the park. I only, only saw Ali, so it refers here to so. Yes. I only saw Ali in the park. I didn't right? talk to him. I didn't uh, chat with him. I only saw him. Okay, perfect. The third one. I saw Ali only in the park. He was the only one? Alone? Or only in the park, it does mean that only yeah. in the park, nowhere else. Yeah, perfect. So the last one, I saw Ali in the park yeah. only. Maybe I see him only in the park? Nowhere else. Oh, yes. Okay, perfect. That was like word magic. Because if you change the position of the same word, it can give you different meanings. Do you have any questions? Yes, uh, in the beginning of the session, you asked us a question. It says, uh, how can you say 100 words? Mansion 100 words, yes. yes. Perfect memory. Okay. No need to it. Okay. Mansion 100 words without the letter A. And I gave you just one minute. No one answered it. Right? It's impossible. It's all about, not, not impossible, of course. I, I wouldn't have asked you if it's impossible to be answered. Okay. The numbers from 1 to 100. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, etc. Till 100. Oh my god! Yeah, oh my god. perfect. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. I've enjoyed your lesson. Hope you enjoyed it too. Thank you so much and have a good day. Bye.